Hello guys, today I'm gonna be making a video of how to redock your exploring your properties. Basically, in my last video I made this tutorial, it was a more like difficult way to do it. Now Roblox has made it a lot easier. Now my other video is kind of outdated. It may work for some of you. I don't know how or why, but I'm gonna be showing you the updated way of how to redock it. So in my last video, I showed you to redock it just by taking the explorer, making it small, uh, clicking on the uh, explorer and a prop. Wait, oh, I accidentally got the uh, properties. I wasn't meant to do that. So you take the explorer, make it small, properties right here. Then I made it so you click on here, then there, and then and then here, and then you basically made it go like here and then here but now it doesn't work anymore um but Roblox has made an easier way to do this so it's pretty easy i, I don't even need to make a tutorial for this because i'm pretty sure you would find it out yourself but i'm just making it for people that didn't find it yet so the only, the only thing you're meant to do is go here like hover over the properties tab and just you see these like um these i don't know what's it called it's like like these rectangles uh, shaped things well you're just gonna need to hover on the one on top or if you have selected your properties you can just hover on the one on the bottom it doesn't really matter and that's pretty much the easier way to fix this because i i, I didn't i don't know any way other way to show this to you um so that was basically easy it's it's just like that i don't know a lot i've seen a lot of people um asking questions in the comments i've been i've been thinking of making a video but i didn't but now i made a video so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and um i'll see you guys in the next tutorial see ya Bye.